Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Western Gun Radio Show podcast. I am your host, Juan Mendoza. The show is being brought to you by Lila Lisa Promotions, sponsored by Marasul Tequila, the new face of tequila. On this week's show, we have the one, the only, Sonny Sauceda. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for joining us here on the Mastering Going Radio Show live show. Uh, we want to thank you guys so much for being with us. Our show is being brought to you by Lila Lisa Promotions and sponsored by the one, the only, Marzul Tequila, the new face of tequila. That's right. On this week's show, we got the one, the only, TTMA Award winner, brand new uh, Tejano Roots Hall of Famer, the accordion killer himself, Mr. <laughs> Sanders Alceda. What's going on, brother? How are you doing, man? Thank you for having me on your show. It's good. I'm sorry that I, I'm, I'm a little, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a little under the, not under the weather, but I, got, I don't know if there are allergies or sinus infection or what it is, but it's something. Probably the change of weather. We're good, though. We're good. Thank God. We're good. Everything's good. Awesome. First of all, I want to say congratulations. Uh, yeah. You won a TTMA award uh, last year, uh, yes. the TTMA awards for Entertainer of the Year. Uh, you and Alec got inducted into the Tahana Roots Hall of Fame a couple weeks ago. I want to say congratulations going out Thank to you guys. Thank you. Actually, I didn't get inducted. Oh, you didn't? No, I got inducted in 2017, but I was there to support the guys. And um, I ended up an award for our bass player, our old bass player, Tiny. So Alec got inducted. Greg and Lucas got inducted, a drummer. And Raymond, our keyboard player, got inducted. And... My old guitar player, Leroy Esparza, got inducted. My old keyboard player, Art Guillermo, got inducted. Damn, it was a big night then, huh? It was a big night. It was fun. And I'm so glad we were able to do it together. You know, everybody got uh, inducted together. I mean, except for, for the exception of myself. But I was there to support. And since I was there to support, we ended up performing. So there you go. Nice. Nice. Absolutely. Well, that was pretty cool either way. And, you know, you got a, you got a Entertainer of the Year last year yeah. for the TTMA Awards. Man, how was, how was that? It was awesome, man. It was it was a good show. It was really good. Uh, there was, I mean, everything overall was really good. They had there there was a few issues with the parking stuff and some, but you know, there's always little hiccups here and there. You know, that's a big production, mm. but it went good, man. It was really nice, and uh, you know, I I we've been to the awards since going to the awards since what ninety five ninety something since ninety five ninety six. <clears throat> so it's been a while, you know, and, and uh, you know, just you feel, I don't know, I th I'm at the point where I've been doing it for so long, I just feel at home, you know, I don't feel, you know, it's just kind of like a big reunion for everybody, we're all mm -hmm. our friends and colleagues, and it's just a reunion for us, and, you know, I, I remember when, when I was younger, I was always real nervous about the awards and always real nervous, you know, uh, just about everything, right, you know, what I was wearing, who's going to be there, and you know, uh, everything, you know, and now it's just like, man, it's, it's just home, you know, and so it feels good, you know, it was great, though, great job on the, on the, the award, you know, the, the, the uh, Texas Talent uh, Association, I think it was a Texas Talent, Texas Talent, <laughs> Texas Talent Mu Musician, Music Association or Musician, there you go, that, that one, the, congratulations, yeah. of course, you know, Frank uh, Salazar is, uh, you know, um, the vice president, and of course, you know, Robert Arellano, they're always uh, there to support. And of course, you know, right, they're, they're, you know, they're the, um, the big dogs or the fat cats. So they kind of, they've kind of relinquished their, their duties and kind of let, you know, you know, Bean OG and Felix and them kind of take the reins and, and start doing more of the stuff. So, you know, it's pretty cool to see that, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, before we know it, you know, those guys will be the guys that are in charge of everything and they'll yeah. be guys running the thing, you know, younger guys and, you know, so I'll, I'll be the old man. Like, I remember when, da, 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 you know? Yeah. Hey, you guys are still pulling in the crowd. So man, you guys are out there, you know, you guys out there shaking your ass in the front <laughs> and, and having a good time, man. You guys pull up, pull in the crowds. You know, I, the ass has always been there. I just didn't know that people liked it that much. <laughs> I didn't know it was a thing. Right. Until TikTok, you know, but uh, but we've always done. I mean, that's just how we do the show, and I've always mm -hmm. done it from when I was with Eddie, Grupo Vida, and then on my own. So, you know, it's uh, I haven't changed at all. I really haven't. I mean, I've it really to me this y todo eso is really my vida 3.0. Yeah, everything that I did for Eddie, 
I did for Vida. What I did for Vida, I do for us. So nothing has changed. I've taken pictures at it. That's all I did. I, Eddie sang, I, Art sang, and now I'm singing. And that's it. That's the only thing that's really, really like, but the nucleus of it all is, you know, the well, you're looking at, you know. Yeah. How long, how long have you been performing total? <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Uh, probably 40 years, since I was five years old. 30 years? Um, 40 years. Oh, 40 years. 40 years. Thanks. So I, nice. Well, I've been performing. Nice. On stage, getting paid. And uh, so, yeah, it's been 40 years, believe it or not. Nice. And no slowing down yet, huh? No, not really. It, it's gotten, it, you know, I, I we kind of, it's like this, you know. It goes, you know, in, in, in like uh, up and downs. Yeah, it's like a roller coaster ride. Sometimes it's, you know, right now we're a little, it's a little slow right now. Uh, not everybody's real busy right now, so. Mm -hmm. And I'm enjoying it because, as a matter of fact, after our interview, I'm going to be working on some more, new, more, more, a little bit new music. And so that gives me a, a, a time to, you know, kind of breathe a little and then work mm -hmm. music and, uh, you know, just the new projects that we have been, you know, that are coming down the pipeline that we've been trying to get to, but just haven't had a chance. You know, we've been mm -hmm. slow. So what can you do? Yeah. The speaking of music, of course, you released your latest album, which is called After Party, not too long ago. Well received, man. It was, it was a big hit throughout the industry. You know, you got a couple songs on there. You got After Party, Así Como Pagan Pago, which is a big hit everywhere. Mm -hmm. And thank you for allowing us to use that song on our station. Oh, that's um, cool. And uh, now you got a brand new one uh, called Nino, a new song, a new single off the album. Uh, mm -hmm. Go, go to talk to us about that one real quick. Sure, of course, absolutely. So this is Nino's. That's technically the fifth single. We started with Pami, uh We started with Solo Sea, Pami Todita, uh, uh, After Party, Así Como Pagan Pago, and now we're on Nino. And Nino is a very personal song. It's the first time I've ever released a ballad. First time I've recorded a ballad, and you know, just kind of never done that before. I was. I'm not sure how people are really. You know, it's too early to really tell. I know that it's it's touched a lot of people. Uh, it's a very personal song. It's it's about my son. I wrote it for him when he was in the hospital. Started writing it for him, and so you know, I, you know, just started writing it. He was, you know, uh, I think it was during the years of uh, Dios Familia Music album, and that's when we started writing that song, and we just never got to finish it. We, we, I think we ended up finishing it when, when, um, when uh, we finished Dios Familia Musica album, we finished writing it, kind of sort of writing it, and then. But we never put it out, so it, it just finally we finally put it out, and my friend um, Alfred Reed from Argentina <clears throat> put the whole arrangement together for us and kind of finished out the lyrics, sent it back to me, and then we had, you know, a friend of mine from um, from San Luis Potosí, JJ Siva, come into the uh, string section, so it's real strings, and uh, just it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful song, and it's a, a personal song, and it's the hardest song. That I've ever had to sing in my life. It's so hard to sing that song. I don't even know if I'll be able to sing it live, but uh, we'll is see. The, uh, is it the run of the emotions, or? Well, it's like you're reliving that that moment in time, right? Because, you know, uh, you know, music is a soundtrack of your life. Mm -hmm. that's what Mark said, right? And so, you know, when when you listen to certain songs that that remind you, you know, there's good songs. They remind you of when you were a kid, uh, songs that remind you of when you were a teenager, when you were dating, when you met your, you know, your girlfriend, your wife, right? And it takes you back. It takes you back. And that song takes me back to a very challenging time for us, for our family, for my son. So it's like reliving, you know, the that, that, that what he went through, you know, because we didn't go, I mean, we went through it with him, but he was the one taking the brunt of, of the, you know, the, you know, him, him going under the knife and whatnot, so. Yeah, it's a, it's. I guess it's even worse when the you know for you and the kids go through it because you don't ever want to see them in that position. No, you don't. You never do want to see them in that position. So it's it's, you know, you know, you never do. You know, I don't know. You know, there's no parent that would want to, you know, send them their child, send their child in for, you know, like a brain surgery. So, and then that's what he had, he went for for brain surgery. Mm -hmm. and so you know, it's it's just um, really hard. You know, we see the old videos and just kind of. <clears throat> you remember, you know, what he was like before, you know, and then, you know, after, you know, and the surgery worked for a little bit, but, you know, there was, they told us there may, there may be some collateral 
damage, you know, due to the surgery, and it could go either way. And so it was just, it was just hard, and you know, you just do the best you can with the information you have uh, in front of you, and make the best decision you possible. You know, sometimes it goes great, sometimes it doesn't pan out to the way you want it to. to. And uh, you know, so here we are, you know, with the new song, and you know, things are going good. We finally found a medication that works for my son. He gets seizures, and it's actually working. So. You're talking about 13 years. He's 13 years old, going to be 14, and just going through different medications and therapies, and nothing's working, nothing's working. And, and the thing is that when that happens, you can either decide to either be a victim or you're a victor. You yeah. know, you, you, you just accept it, and, you know, you, you just don't let it beat you down. You just keep working, and you don't let it beat you. And you just, uh, you know, of course, you're never going to feel like you do enough as a parent. You're never going to feel like that. Never going to. That you're always, you're always gonna feel like you're missing something, like you could do more. But the fact that you already think like that is that's already like a sign that you're doing plenty. You yeah. Know? Well, you know, the richest man in the world couldn't save his own life. That's yeah. deep, you know, and so you know, who are we, right? We 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 do what we can, the best we can. But you know, um, there's uh, if you don't have your health, if you don't have your health, you have nothing. You know, so it's so important. Yeah. But he's he's doing overall. I mean, he's doing okay. You know, taking the medications these days. He's doing better. He's doing better. It, it seems like this year is gonna be a good year for him. He's doing. He's excelling now. Mm -hmm. You know, and again, but now he's he's like doing stuff that we never imagined he would do. So it's it's awesome to see him doing that. And you know, he's not verbal. He didn't say many words. And you know, he he he's in a wheelchair. So you know, it's you know, he's very dependent on us. <clears throat> so you know he but he loves music jared loves music and he's our our superhero and he's our drive he's you know why we do what we do and and i remind my kids every day you know they ever tell me oh i can't i said no 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 i said i never want to <laughs> look at you look at your brother he has an excuse yeah has, but you if you can walk you can talk you have no excuse i don't want to hear it so it's yeah. it, truth i mean if there i don't i have no pity for people that are you know, oh, poor me, and I can't, no. You, you you, have your health, you can walk, you can talk. My son can't walk. He has, like, a real reason why he can't do something. Yeah. That's their experience. He's the one that, you know, he drives everybody. He just drives everybody. There you go. Uh, let's give a couple shout-outs real quick. Uh, Miss Irma Aguilar, she says, hi, amigos, from uh, San Antonio, Texas. She's an awesome artist, uh, mariachi artist. Irma Huh? Irma Aguilar? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Um, let's see, we got David Mata sharing to Tahana Web uh, Facebook page. Appreciate that. Awesome. Well, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break real quick, and we're going to go ahead and play the song. We're going to dedicate this, this segment to you, to your son. We're going to play your brand-new music video. And so, ladies and gentlemen, this one is called Nino, and, of course, make sure you guys vote for it on our Top 10 Music Video Countdown as well. Niño ya no llores, niño no estés triste, no tengas miedo que aquí estoy, que aquí estoy, que aquí estoy. Te asustes, niño, ven conmigo. En mis brazos te tengo, que aquí estoy. Que aquí estoy. Que aquí estoy. Aquí estarán mis brazos Cuando tengas frío yo te abrazaré
Aquí estarán mis manos Cuando necesitas tu mayú te las daré No llores, niño no estés triste No tengas miedo que aquí estoy Niño no te asustes, niño ven conmigo En mis brazos te tengo que aquí estoy Aquí estarán mis brazos Cuando tengas frío yo te abrazaré Aquí estarán mis manos Cuando necesitas toma yo te las daré Aquí estaré, por siempre aquí estaré, yo nunca te dejaré, no, no. Aquí estaré, yo siempre te amaré, a tu lado que estaré, no. Aquí estaré por siempre. Aquí estaré, yo siempre te amaré, a tu lado estaré. A tu lado estaré Siempre a tu lado, hijo mío Siempre a tu lado Te amo, hijo mío All right, that was the latest right there by Mr. Sonny Salceda called Nino, of course, for his son. That's an awesome, beautiful song, man. Oh, thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, we got some uh, we got some feedback here. Going to see, uh, we got Felipe Leal. He says, saludos. I finally got a chance to see you guys live at the Uvalde Back to School Benefit. Awesome oh. performance. Amazing new song. Very powerful and uplifting. Thank and uh, I can imagine that for being, especially in Uvalde after what happened last year. Uh, for the parents that were there and all the tragedy that happened at that school and everything, I can imagine what that song does for those people and those kids as well. Absolutely, you know what? I had to be right. I said that's so true, that's so true. Yeah, that's a major tragedy for everybody. And you know, I when I heard about that, I mean, I, it, I, I even it, I didn't go through it, but I, I feel I was so emotional that day. Mm -hmm. I was in shock, yeah. So. Uh, we, got, we got here. Um, David Mata says, Sunny Salceda, totally love it. And but the piano intro and the message, and you send to him every emotional. How old is he? How old is, how old is your son? Jared, Jared is 13. 13, 13 years old. Nice. Yeah, I love the video. I was, I was watching, I was like, he was enjoying himself with uh, Mickey Mouse there for a little bit. He loved Mickey Mouse. Man. It was, he loved it. He was having a good old time. He was enjoying it. Lupe Moya did that video. And yeah. so send a shout out to Lupe Moya. And uh, he's in Austin. And he's actually uh, going through some chemo treatment right now. He got diagnosed with, I can't remember what cancer, but he did. He, so he's going through some stuff right now. So I just want to send a shout out to him. And, of course, we have him in our prayers. And 
you know, good vibes to him and his family. Hope he, uh, I'm sure he's going to recover well. He's going to the second round of chemotherapy. So, of course, saludos uh, Lupe Moya and, of course, the whole family. There you go. There you go. Um, so, let's see, you got the videos out and everything else. And, of course, uh, are you getting ready for, are you guys getting ready for fanfare? You know what? Everybody's talking about fanfare, but no, we don't, you know, we, we, we've done, I've done, I've do it every year. So we don't worry about fanfare till like the week of, or the week before. <laughs> that's, yeah. be that's become a routine with you guys. Huh? It's just you know, fanfares every year, no matter what. Yeah. Fanfares every year. I know everybody's making their plan. It's, I mean, we live here, so we don't, we just drive to the market square and play. Right. So, <laughs> but no, not yet. No, we're not there yet. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm in uh, recording mode, so you know my my work working on the the you know getting new songs and getting the songs for another project, and so that's where we're at right now. And uh, of course, we have a few shows coming up, so we're getting ready for that. Well, you know we've we've been playing together for so long that you know the show is the show. We may tweak it a little bit, but. This year, it's uh, last year was so slammed that we usually at the end of the year, I try to kind of we try to kind of retweet the show, but we haven't been able to, so uh, we probably won't get to it. So maybe, maybe the summer, I have no idea. It's just been you know, I know the guys are enjoying like we had last weekend off, so they're enjoying this, so kind of want to let them rest a little bit, you know. Nice. I was, I was glad that uh, last year I finally got to, I've seen you plenty of times at like a fanfare and stuff and the after parties, but. Uh, finally got to see uh, meet you last year at the Internet Radio Gala, and oh, yes. uh, are you gonna attend again this year? I plan to. I plan to. Um, uh, I know Vic Gonzalez said that this is gonna be his his last Internet Radio Gala. You know, he's been having through going through some health issues himself. Uh, you know, but so this is probably gonna be his last Internet Radio Gala, and this is usually the big big night for us. You know, of course yeah. we have fanfare, but this is a big night for internet radio stations to gather around and meet and greet with you guys Absolutely. and you guys to come out and meet and greet with all of us as well. Absolutely. So this is going to be his last one. So hopefully we get to see you out there. <clears throat> I, I plan on being out there uh, unless anything changes, but you know, I had made plans to go out there and, you know, hang out and bug people and get on and take over the show and whatnot. <laughs> but I, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was like, man, that's pretty cool. When you sat down, I was like, damn it, he's really here. And then <laughs> with your recording, man, I was like, yeah, this is awesome, man, right here. So uh, I was glad I was, I was glad I got to record that and put it on uh, Spotify, man. That was awesome. That was really cool. I did see that. I got to see it. That was yeah. awesome. We we look forward to it, and of course, we appreciate all the all the internet stations that go out there. You know, um, it's much appreciated. So, you know, we have a. Hey, um, our dynamic is symbiotic. You know, we need each other, so we need uh, we need talent, and we need the 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 providers of talent to be you know in the mix. So, you know, it's very important for internet stations to be there, and anybody who's in broadcast or you know now it's to where you know not only broadcast. I mean, you know, internet broadcasting. Now you're talking about influencers and you know bloggers, bloggers. You know, so everybody that's kind of um, you know doing their part to promote, uh, you know, exploit, uh, you know, to, um, you know, create awareness of Tejano music is all important to to what we do because, you know, those are the outlets and those are the, you know, I only have one mouth, two thumbs in two years. I can only do so much. So we rely on, you know, people like yourself, like Machine Gun Radio and everybody else that's, that's doing what they do, you know, so it's very important to me. And, you know, so I really appreciate it. And I want, you know, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Nah, no problem. Yeah. Hopefully you could go out there, man. That way, uh, that way we can get you, get you a bottle of, uh, Marisol tequila. There you go. Yeah. You should. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, That's good stuff. Enough to go right there for the bottle of Marisol. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you were at, um, Shelly Lattice's farewell show. Weren't you at her last stand? Yes, I was. I yeah. think they were, they were sponsoring that, that event. They were. Yes, yes, sir. I didn't get to taste it. Man, that stuff that stuff is good. That has some good uh flavors. And uh this one is uh pomegranate. Uh -huh. uh, I know they have coffee, they have uh chocolate, they have mint, they have habanero, they have silver, they have all kinds of flavors and stuff, man. And so we're gonna try to get them out, out there to go to a fanfare with us. That'd be great, man. It's really gonna be out there, you know. That that was great. 
I mean, I, I did see them, but we just didn't get to uh, <clears throat> go visit their booth. We were too busy yapping away, like <laughs> always. Like always, we always be yapping away. But that Shelly event was amazing. It was a great. They did a great job. Mia did an awesome job. And um, I wish we did something like that every year. Uh, <clears throat> not for Shelly Lattis, right? You know, she can only retire mm -hmm. one. But I, I, I was telling Shelly that, that, you know, that the vibe was so cool. The vibe was so good. It was so chill. And it was for the most part a lot of industry people, and mm -hmm. uh, and the the people that are, were there that were not per se industry people were people that you recognize, people that that are close friends of the industry. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because we have the hardcore, right? Like the hardcore people, like you know my friends Ray and Ray and uh, <clears throat> Marie Martinez. They know everybody in the industry. They because they've been doing. They've been in the. They've loved it so for so long, you know. They Emilio, Roberto Pulido, mm -hmm. get um, every. They know everybody, and and then she's like, she, you know, Marie's like a tia to me, but they know everybody in the in the industry. But what I'm saying is that it was such a cool event <clears throat> to pay tribute to Shelly and to have her take her final bow. And I just think, you know, the Grammys does a Person of the Year. So when you go to the Grammys, the Land Grammys, the Grammys. I don't know if you've ever been, but if you've ever been, but if you're a nominee or you're going, they actually have an event the night before called Person of the Year. Yeah. Okay, and it felt like that. It kind of, it kind of felt like that because in California, like if you go to California, you hang out with those people, and I've done it before. Where I go to Monitor Latino, or, uh, or we go to the you know Land Grammys, you know, or go to BMI events, ASCAP events, and it's the same clique of people that you see at the Grammys. That you mm -hmm. see that you see at the BMI, that you see at ASCAP. It's the same people, kind of like with us. It was so funny. I was laughing. So, oh, mira, it's just like at home. But <laughs> it's their, the little click, the little, you know, you have the, you know, the, the media from here in San Antonio. You know, have when you go to Houston, you have those guys. Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit of everything. So it's pretty cool. But Person of the Year is, is kind of almost very similar to what the final bow was. But they yeah. do tribute to an artist so, so just, sorry go ahead go ahead well i'm just saying i think it'd be cool to do but to for an artist that hasn't been recognized right <clears throat> that hasn't been you know maybe he's been overlooked or he's very um or she is very uh accoladed, you know and and has been doing it for a long time and it's not a farewell it's just person of the year That's yeah it. and they can you know but they would have to have tenure i mean he likes from 30 to 40 years. not somebody new, like 30 years out of you know victory but that's that's just i'm just you know just talking but I, I think we put it in <laughs> no i mean that, that that's a good that's a good concept you know i mean I, I see a lot of people doing it all the time i mean they do it for country music you know <laughs> they they've done it for like george Strait and Hank Williams Jr. They did it for George Jones when he was still alive. You know they're doing it for Alan Jackson yeah. now that he's retiring. You know so they're doing it for all these like country artists. And it would be it's a good concept to have one person of the year every year. You know you someone who's like you said been around for years and is yeah. uh, you know like a pioneer in this industry. Absolutely yes. You know and and you know I just I mean the first one that comes to my head is like David Bodice, right? Yeah. Like, so you know, to me, it would be cool to do a person of the year for David Maris. Yeah, David Maris, uh, Joe Posada came from that era. You know, yeah. even even older, some of the conjunto groups. You know, the the brass sounds. You know, you got Land Breed, of course. You know, you got Tortilla Factory. You know, uh, yeah, all these other guys, Showband USA. You know, those guys and someone who's been around the, the industry for a long time. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. Get to work. I get to work. <laughs> those are, those are concepts that are, that are awesome, and the, the industry really needs to take an account too. Um, we were talking about the the clicks and everything else, and I was like, so it's very familiar because you know you see these guys at fanfare, you see these guys at the award ceremony all the time, and you guys, you know, Market Square that's the center of it all. So you see these guys all at every in the, every festival and stuff. Yeah, and it's cool, man. I, I love it. You know, we, we and we know each other, and you know the thing is that you know it's uh, as big as the hardware is, and it's not small by any means. Like it really is very niche, very family, and you know, like I said, I, I guess I've been doing it for so long that you know it just 
Yeah, everybody's like family to me, so I just I feel real comfortable wherever we go. It's very rare that we go somewhere. Like, oh, I never met that guy. I don't know. I don't know who that is. How come I don't? You know, it's very rare. Yeah. yeah. Do you follow a lot of the controversy around it? The town industry? Yeah. Uh I I watch it. I I I, I watch it and stuff, and I giggle about it. You know, but you know, it's it's <clears throat> it's always going to be that. There's always going to be controversy. Yeah. <clears throat> There's always going to be you know complainers and whiners and you know why this or why that and you know and, and it's it's inevitable and we need those people we need those people you know the people <laughs> don't like us or they hate on you and you know but it's okay you know um i think uh, we we're better served to lead by example we're better served to you know campaign don't don't complain campaign mm -hmm. so let's find a solution let's not Okay. Yes. Okay. But let's find a solution. Let's yeah. just about it. Let's get together. Let's, you know, let's do something about it as a group, rather than sit there and complain about it. Let's do like let's organize. Let's not just sit there and, you know, play put the blame on everybody because we're all on the same team. We're all just together. Regard we, you know, and you can, you know, point fingers at the <clears throat> the people the the media the artists the artistry but we're in this all together so it doesn't really matter like how do we fix this how do, how <laughs> that do we that is that is a magic question is how do you yeah. fix it you know it's, but there there's there's no trust i mean i understand a lot of things that you say but there's a lot of things that are just weird because there's a there's a lot of mistrust in this in this industry and that's the bad part you know it's just you know, you could, huh? we're supposed to be in this. We're supposed to be in this group together, yeah. but some are going this way, some are going that way, some are winding back to the '90s, and some are going this way. And it's just we're all spread yeah. apart, you know. And it's a good, it's a good thing in a way, but then it's a bad thing in a way. <laughs> well, you know, there's it's there's always been that. There's always gonna be that. I mean, there's always in countries the same thing. You know, it's yeah. it's, <clears throat> it's very cutthroat everywhere, and you know, it's you know. Miss, you know, there's, I think that, uh, you know, as long as we're growing, it's not going to be perfect, not the way we want it. It may be messy, but as long as we're growing, I think that uh, it's important. I think that, uh, you know, we may, you know, people, you know, we're here every weekend. We're performing every weekend. We're performing at festivals. So I just know that the visibility isn't there like it once was. So mm -hmm. it's not growing this way. We're growing this way. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. Like, okay, okay. Our viewership is not as much as it should, but our listenership or whatever, our attention or you know impressions, right? <clears throat> For the techies and you know, <laughs> but going this way, like it's spreading and spreading and spreading. Yeah. Where everybody gets together and then we all rise and then you know and and so something happens, everything will align. It happens organically, you know, and. Um, you know, uh, it's and that's what it is. And I know I know what you mean. There's, there's a lot of that. There's a lot of trust. And you know, I think that. But as long as we're all going promoting whatever you're doing, if you're doing, you know, the conjunto, if you're doing the Tejano old school classic, you mm -hmm. know, I'm, I'm a rock band with accordion, so I'm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm the same boat you are. I'm a rock, I'm a rock and roller man. I'm, I'm rock that's and it. My rock and roll stuff. I'm a rock and roller. I play. I play. I, we got a, a Tejano, we had a rock band with accordion is what I call it now because, you know, the Kohuto guys are not going to call me Kohuto. The Tejano guys are going to call me Tejano. So we're a rock band with accordion. There you go. <laughs> that should be the title of your, of your, that should be the title of your next album. Rock band with accordion. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, let's give a couple more shout outs right here. Uh, Ronnie Lucero out there from uh, Colorado says, Hola mi raza. Uh, he's, oh, an, yeah. he's an awesome artist out there. Awesome uh, R&B artist. Trying to do a little bit of Tejano there. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. We got Gil Gonzalez. Saludos desde Encinitas, California. All right. Tuning in. All right. Thank, thank you for everybody out there in California yeah. tuning in. Uh, Dave Hernandez says saludos. Saludos going out to you guys out there. Howdy. Howdy. Uh, let's see. David Mata. Oh, he, he, they're chatting with somebody here. Uh, let's see. David Mata says mutual trust and such. Of course, we got to have mutual trust. Uh, Josie Zamora says hello, Mastering on Radio on Sunny Salceda. Love that Sunny. We need, we need those people. 
She needs your, she needs your muscles, man. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Nicole Cavazos says hello. Hello out there. Uh, let's see. Irma says, question, is Sonny willing to collaborate or be open to sing a song of ours? With who? With who is it? Irma Aguilar. Irma Aguilar? Yes. Where is where are they from? Uh, remind she's me. from she's from there in San Antonio. She's uh oh. she does a lot of mariachi, she does oh. some Tejano and country music. Yeah, I'm not opposed to it, you know. It just uh, where what song or where or what, uh is it like in, in a a performance or a recording or you know yeah. Yeah, that's that's a magic question. So that's Irma, make sure you give it uh make sure you give us Sonny Salceda, inbox them, give them your information and uh he'll give with you. Uh, she has she has some music out there. She has some mariachi songs. She has some country songs out there, and does very well. So um, it'd be a good collaboration. That's great. No, that's great. But I'm, I love to see that. We need as much new talent, you know, as we can have. You know, we need. Uh, there's a lot of girls. We need more guys. I don't know where the guys. <laughs> I don't know where the guys are at. I don't know where they're at. There's not they're a lot. No, I don't know what happened. They're just I know there's a lot of girls. I mean, we're outnumbered. Yeah. Uh, I think within the past seven years, I think it was, all the girls really took over, and then, yeah. and they're and they're all like this in bunches. You know, they're all yeah. supporting. It's a good thing. They're all supporting each other. That's a good thing too. So I mean, girls, uh, hey, girls are like that. Girls are <laughs> in the beginning. In the beginning. In, in the beginning. <laughs> Until later on, uh, bestie, and then, then I gouge. No, I gouging kidding. comes out. No, I don't think. No, I don't think that's. I mean, it, you know, I think that there's there's reason, you know, para todos el sol, you know, and and it just, you know, it you. I mean, I've been doing this for a, long, a, a while now, and you know, it's just, you know, you, you you see groups, you know, come in and they've been you've been doing it, and then they come in and whoo, shoot up right away, and bands don't, or some bands just like stay there and then they peter out, you know. So I just. You know, I you know I, I think there's enough for everybody to go around, and uh, that's really cool that the girls are sticking together, that they're all like you know united, and you know that's awesome, and that's the way it should be. It should be like that. We should support each other and do more together. Uh, I think it's a lot of, you know, we just have to, you know, a lot of the things is because, you know, maybe because of our predecessors were not kind of brought up that way, you know, so it's kind of something, a trend that has to, you know, like that, then that they started and that it seems like it's, you know, sticking. And so therefore, you know, maybe the next generation of of singers will do the same and so Mm -hmm. forth. Right. And there's been a lot of friendly competition, you know, competitiveness. So, you know, that's what I know, but, you know, I think that, uh, again, <clears throat> when we start together, you know, the bands that start together at the same time, you know, yes, there's that friendly competition, but you're still in it together. So, you know, but it's, you know, just a matter of, of working together and, and doing some cool collabs. And, you know, I'm glad to see that. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Uh, let's see. She said uh, a recording would be great. She said to look her up, Irma Aguilar artist okay. on, her, on Facebook. Sure. Um, okay. That'd be awesome. Uh, let's see. Jesus Urbina says, Saludos de su amigo Jesús Urbina de Brownsville, Texas. Brownsville in the house. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Brownsville. Let's see. Um, George Salazar, we had him on the show last week uh, from Holland, Michigan. Holland, Michigan's in the house. Oh, wow. Holland, Michigan. That's awesome. awesome. Shoot, yeah. Nice. Uh, let's see. It would be an honor, she said. Her Magular. Yeah, great. Awesome. Yeah. So you're working on some brand new material. Uh, for your next album, any any uh, surprises or yeah. always surprises, always surprises. <laughs> yeah, we're working on. Uh, I'm working on uh, several projects. That's one of them, and uh, so we're working on the, the panel project. And then uh, you know, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some other work in other genres um, outside of Tejano with um, with my buddy Alex Meixner. We're working. I think we're we're getting together next week for something for him, and that's the poker market. And then I'm doing some work with one of my friends from the Texas country market, uh, Abe Mack. And so kind of, you know, como dicen, le estamos tirando todo, you know, just kind of. Yeah. But that's that's what I love to do. I've always done that. I've always done that. Recording with different artists. I recorded with Charlie Robeson a, a while back, years ago. You know, Robert Rodriguez, who's uh, the director, you know, from Austin. Mm. I've done him, you know, I've done, oh, gosh. I've, I forgot a lot of the stuff I've done. 
I think I've done commercials, you know, like for Burger King and Don't Mess uh, with Texas. Don't Mess with Texas. Oh my gosh. I did another one the other I did something else. It just goes it's like a blur, but you know, it's just I recorded the Norteño band, you know. Uh my friend JJ Silva from San Luis Potosí. Um and uh, you know, just I have to send you that video as a matter of fact. It's a great song. We just released it like two years ago, but it's so amazing. It's, it's called Tu Olvido, but it's like four singers. I'm one of the singers. I play accordion a little bit, but that's it. Nice. And so that's what we're working on. And uh, let's see. It's, still not, it's just, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. But yeah, <laughs> it's, um, it's just go, 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 go. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep your nice. feet. Now, you got a, a big hit on your hands right now with your latest album, which is, of course, our theme anthem that we've been having lately the past, I don't know how long when that song came out, which is, uh, uh, oh my God, really? I forgot. Uh, yes, that one. Now, where did that, how did that song come about for you? That song is actually uh, an old, uh, it's an old song written by Salome Gutierrez. It's super old. And <clears throat> that song I've had in the vault for 20 20 years? It's been sitting there. I just not done wow. been there for 20 years. And I didn't know what to do with it. I just never knew what to do with it. And then uh, one of my friends, he loves death metal. And and he kind of introduced me to like Christian death metal. There's mm-hmm. one called As I Lay Dying. And they do the screams, you know, and all this. And I can't do it. But, uh, <laughs> But they're, you know, but it's Christian death metal. It's crazy. And so, you know, we, I was just kind of toying with ideas and see, let me try this song now. Let me see what we can do with it. And we were working on it. And I wanted kind of like a follow up to Cielo Sul, Cielo Nublado, mm-hmm. the song that the, the duet I did with Eddie. And so I want to follow up to that because they wanted that. They had been asking me for it. After the DFM album, um, some of my friends that are in radio were like, we love what you're doing, man, but we want to hear some of that old stuff, that old school. Excuse me. And so that song we arranged. I started arranging it, and I've always wanted to do a death metal scream. I've always wanted to do something like that because that's what I hear in my head. Mm-hmm. So I'll be playing, and I'm like, I'm going to get it. You'll see me right before we go into that. I'm like launching back, almost like a slingshot or like a yeah, slingshot. You see me launch back, and I'm seeing my tongue out. But in my head, I'm hearing a death metal scream. That's what I hear. I can't do it because I'm playing the Gordon, but I'm hearing that. So when we were recording this album, <clears throat> excuse me, I told a medical dude, I want you to do a death metal scream because he knows how to do them. Mm-hmm. And we threw we threw it on there, and then we added, of course, the rock stuff in there, and just kind of arranged. We broke all the rules. That song is all the rules are broken on that song. You know, there's. Um, we have a, you know, that song, that type of song has a formula that we use, that we used from our producer, and we kind of stuck with it. You know, we did Disgusto, Botoncito, Chartina, we did um, with his Mujeres, uh, so many songs that I recorded in that, you know, mm-hmm. that. And so this time I was like, you know what, I'm just going to break all my own rules and just get rid of that. And then, so that's how that song is, like the only song in the world with a death metal, the only ranchera in the world with a death metal scream. <laughs> did, you, did you? So you already pretty much expected that it was going to be a hit on your hands after that. I mean, I kind of had a feeling because that's what people want to hear from us. Yeah. You know, out of all the things that I've done, I mean, you know, I because I, I'm, you know, I, I, I like to uh, <clears throat> not experiment, but I love to express myself in different ways, right? So, like a painter on a canvas, like I don't always use red and blue and or yellow or black. So it's always different. And to me, music is like that. Like every song has its own flavor. Mm-hmm. Every song has its own identity. Every song has its characteristics that you're going to add to that. And you're going to, you know, enhance it. And you're going to optimize it. And so I think that, you know, I, I would so... I like to do that. I like to get songs and, and just kind of, I have one idea and then I'm like, well, I want to do this with this song too. So Tarantella, we're going to do a death metal scream with, you know, rock, little licks and stuff because I am a rocker. And, but I was, I mean, I wasn't sure. You never really know, but you know, everybody, you know, the, the you know, PDs were telling me like, you know, can you do some of that old school? We, we want to hear that. And, you know, I said, okay, we'll do that. 
I did get some pushback from one of the stations. Like, hey, this is kind of like a lot of brain. <laughs> But, you know, like I was saying, what I was trying to see, my point is that everything we've done, you know, DFM, Todo Tu Cariño, Sin Buenas Condiciones, I mean, Sin Sangre, No Me Haces Llorar, you know, um, Por La Madrugada, Por La Madrugada, that one. Like, those are all great songs, and they're good songs, they're hit songs. But when we play live, when we play live, the people erupt with the accordion abuse. Yeah. And... Have I done it for 25 years? Yes, I have. But people don't get tired of it. And on top of that, nobody else does it. Nobody else. How do I say this? Nobody else can do it. Nobody else can do it. I, I mean, I hope somebody can take over. I'm, I mean, I'm getting older. I need somebody to do it. But <laughs> it doesn't. I mean, I mean, I need. I mean, I can't forever. I mean, at one point in time, I'm gonna have to slow, slow it down. You know, I'm gonna get achy and. I'll go out there in a cane or a little, <laughs> <laughs> a little walker, like corner. No, hombre. You know, but you know, I, I'm just saying. You know, it just that's the niche, right? That's our niche, right? Yeah. The the day, <clears throat> that is the meat and potatoes. That is the you know the the what gives us life. That's what sets us apart. You know, Eddie used to do it, but when I was with Eddie, you know, Grupo Vida used to do it when I was a Grupo Vida. Mm -hmm. So nobody else is doing it. So I'm, that's, that's what I do. That's me. Yeah. I've tried to slow it down. I've changed it. I did it one year where I slowed the show down so much. People, hey, are you sick? Did you break your leg? What's wrong? I said, no. <laughs> well, don't ever do that again. We didn't like it. <laughs> For real. Wow. Well, and, oh. and, and now you're sitting there putting the accordion strap in your mouth and swinging around. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes. Aren't yeah. you aren't you scared you're gonna end up having to go to the dentist later? <clears throat> no, not yet. I haven't had it to go yet. No, no, not yet. Hope not. <laughs> I I hope not. Yeah. I was I'm like glow my teeth. <laughs> I was like, man, I gotta I gotta find a name for this guy, man. And this is where I, I was like the accordion killer, because I think killer. I think a couple I think a couple years ago you actually ripped your accordion in half playing so hard. <clears throat> I've done it before. It's ripped in half. I've you know, I've kicked a hole in it, I've done so much to it. The only thing I haven't done yet is set it on fire. That's on my list of stuff to do. But I haven't Jimmy done Hendrix. It. Yeah, you know it, buddy. You know it. <laughs> Live, Live in Monterey. That's the album. There so, you go. But yeah, you know it's, that, it's, that was like. On, I was like, let me let me find a name for man. That sounds like we got to yeah, call him the accordion killer because he just kills that damn accordion. I love it. I love. It. I like that. That's cool, man. Very cool. Very cool. Nice. Well, we want to go ahead and play one more video real quick yep. before we end up uh, ending the show here. Sure. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are just joining us, we're here with Mr. Sonny Salceda. Oh, on this side of me over here, Sonny Salceda. He just won a TTMA award uh, last year, at the end of last year for the, the Hano Music Awards. And uh, he's going to be at Fanfare. So make sure you guys uh, go out there and support him and show some love for the guys. And uh, next week on our show, we're going to have Miss Sarah Monique is going to be on yeah. the show next Wednesday. Same chingon time, same chingon channel. So here we go. We're going to play his brand new owner here. Así como pagan, pago. Right here on the Master Gun Radio live show. Si porque me ves borracho, no creas que es por tu cariño. Te digo, le prometí al santo 
ya lo verás Pronto mi vida cambiar Si me ves de nuevo borracho No pregunten, ya sabes por qué That's a badass song. <laughs> Thank you. I love that song. That's a good. It was fun. It was fun recording that song. That How a- long did it take to do the video? It didn't take long at all. Like we did like three takes. Really? Yeah, we used Ryan Bazano that one. He did it quick. Yeah. Yeah. Big shout out going out to Ryan, man. He does awesome videos. He does great. He's done almost all, all of our videos, for the exception of yeah, Pamito Dita. Uh, not Pamito. I'm sorry. The Nino and uh, After Party. After Party, Christian. Uh, Moeller did that one. So nice, nice. That, that was that's a great song, man. It's one of those like instant classics, you know. I appreciate that, man. We we love that song. That's that's a, one of our favorite songs to play live. Yeah, uh, like I said, I want to thank you so much for letting us use that song, though, man. On the you know the countdowns and everything else. So it's just uh, it's, it's awesome to hear it, man. Like a like an intro, it just get lives in the party, lives <coughs> the party. Yeah. Uh, Thank you so much. I appreciate you, you know, using it, man. That song has, you know, been great, and it's uh, one of those songs that, you know, uh, man, I didn't, I, you know, I, I don't even know how it came out like that, but it came out. It just, you know, I, it's kind of hard to remember. I'm trying to remember how, but that's it's, it's it came out really cool, man. I, I didn't even expect that it would get used for like intros or like for other, you know. I didn't see that, but that's awesome. We appreciate that. That's a a, a great, it's a big compliment. So thank you so much for using it. Yeah, absolutely. No, no problem. Man. I was, I was, I've been wanting some kind of intro, and I, I was, I really didn't want to keep using the same polkas or whatever that's been used so many times. And I was like, man, this is awesome because they, just the intro, the ta-na, 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 you know. So that I just wanted to use that intro for everything. That's pretty much what we have on here. I, mean, I have it on my top ten music video countdown list, and uh, just the intro for everything, man. So it's pretty cool. Uh, that but, is, uh, it, it does lend itself because it's. It's not a typical. Again, we're right now with the cordial. We're not. It's not a straight up polka. Yeah, know? yeah. It yeah, has. No, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. Thank I you. Enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you. Um. So you. So like I said, uh, you're working on the new album. Uh, is there a date that you guys will probably complete it, or anytime you you guys think about finishing it? You know, I think the record label told me they wanted. I think by July or August. I the fest. Yeah, no. Well, it's, it's going to be an EP, so you know, people are people aren't buying CDs a lot anymore. So, you know, people buy a lot of merchandise, but they don't really buy CDs like they used to. So, with it's, everything on with everything st- being streamed lately, you know, Spotify yeah. and uh, what do you call it? iTunes and everything else. So, I mean, everything's just mm-hmm. plug and play. Yes, absolutely. So, I mean, we're, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna put out. We're probably gonna put out an EP this year. This kind this year, we'll put out an EP. And uh, and so that's we're excited about it, and uh, you know we got a, a lot of new stuff. We we're, we're toying with some ideas uh, for a conceptual album versus a uh, traditional studio album. So we'll see how it works out. Whatever the um, whatever road is the road with the least amount of resistance, at that moment we'll go down for sure. Nice, nice. Uh, Miss Josie Samora says accordion killer for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Um, so do you, what other, what other shows do you have coming up? We are actually, uh, I don't, I know we're playing in San Angelo, San Angelo in February, February 11th. That may be our first show. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I have not, I have not been paying attention to the calendar. I don't even want to look at it cause I'm trying to make sure that we record and get everything done with the, the album and the other projects that I have going on. I know for sure we're playing, uh, I know I'm in San Angelo for, for the, you know, uh, Valentine's day. And then, um, March fourth, I think March third, whatever the Thursday is. We're playing the KDA anniversary. We're playing that Saturday for the uh, Mundial Premios Mundial Awards, mm-hmm. and Sunday we're playing for the United States CBs. 
which is a veteran-owned organization, veterans, it's actually veterans, United States Navy, so we'll be playing for that. And uh, that's what I can remember. And I know we have a bunch of stuff coming up during Fiesta and Fanfare and all that yeah. good. So nice. So, we'll be posting it. Nice. And of course, you have merchandise. Of course, you have your CDs for sale on your website. Yes, we have our CDs for sale, our merch for sale. We have a bunch of different merch, you know, t shirts and all kinds of stuff. So you can go to sunnysalsa.net and check all that out for sure. And nice. message, you know, all our links are there, all our, you know, social media links are there. So, you know, for sure, go check it out. Follow us on, you know, if you're on here where you are, you may be following us on Facebook, I'm not sure. But go to, you know, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on uh, uh, Twitter for sure. I'm Saucy McDickens on Twitter. <laughs> so, and uh, where did that name come from? That's Yvonne, my my uh, my friend Yvonne. Uh, is it Carrion? Yvonne Carrion. She gave me that name. She started calling me Saucy McDickens, and I was like, man, that's a cool name. So that I stuck with it. It's just stick stuck because I I posted a video. I think one of my viral videos, and I put on there like, damn, he's thick. And that thing went viral and had like like has like a a million point two views. <laughs> and he, I think you yeah you had that listed on a TikTok or something like that, uh, Instagram as well. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, you know, and, and that's and that's kind of how it took off. And it took off. And then I have another video that's like a two point two million views. You know, the one where I like twerking or whatever you want to call it, jiggling my. <laughs> but that one has two point two million views, so it's crazy. I never yeah. thought. I didn't know that my my rear end was such that big a deal. I, I would if I would have known that I would have turned around a long time ago. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know. It's that. Never, it's never too late, huh? Well, I've been doing this for how many years now? Since like ninety five in Tehama. I never thought of doing that. I just did it one day. I'm like, oh okay, and I was telling my wife like, oh that was not a good that's not a good shot, and I cut it to like six seconds, and then freaking blew up. Who would <laughs> who would have thought? Yeah, that's crazy. Um. <laughs> So yeah, you're on all the streaming platforms, of course, and you're on all the social media sites. Yes, uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, TikTok. Uh, that's that's about it. I don't do a lot of Twitter or LinkedIn anymore, or you know, that's about you know, those are the. I think the strongest one is actually tw TikTok has been our strongest, you know, tool. You know, it's a tool for us. You know. Um, you know, we use it for positive stuff and to, you know, talk about the band and you know, just talk about different things, you know, purely, you know, random stuff, you know, and, but, you know, for the most part, it's, uh, I think that TikTok has been <clears throat> so game changing for us in the, in terms of, you know, it's, it's like that three headed monster, you know, you get, you get to, you make, you make video content, you're able to post links on it or <clears throat> text on it which is, you know, to, um, you know, for the message mm -hmm. or link, whatever you want to do. And then, and then you're able to tag your own music, use your music bed, use your music as your musical bed, which in turn can turn into streams. So it's like a three headed monster for me. It's, it's a, it's a no brainer. I didn't see how my, my niche would be for the, you know, TikTok, but I mean, I finally found it, and I think we know what people like to see. And, uh, you know, again, it's a lot of the gigs that we get are from TikTok. Like people yeah. say, you know, I've been recognized at the airport, at gas stations, on the cruise. And these are things that are not non Tejano related. Like they're like, hey, you're the guy from TikTok. They don't even know that I play accordion. They're just, you're the guy from TikTok. And, you know, <laughs> of course, they know the accordion, but they're not like, that's all they say, the guy from TikTok. But they tell me. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So, you, so you're on all these uh, platforms. You're not on OnlyFans or nothing like that. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Pretty soon, you make some money off of there. You know, I mean, I'm trying to. I'm, I mean, I'm really thinking about it. If anything, for the controversy. <laughs> it's just, just a dance. I mean, I it may just sit there and just be bored and watch a candle burn, but not anything crazy. But <laughs> the controversy of like, what? He has the OnlyFans. Yeah, not yet, but. You know, you know how fast the Hano, you know how fast the Hano Nation will get you on their show. I know, I know. Yeah, I would talk value, but no, I don't have an OnlyFans yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, uh, man, I appreciate you being on the show, man. It's an it's an honor to have you on our show all the time. Uh, you know, hopefully we get to see you out there at Fanfare, uh, jamming and having a good time out there. Man, it's gonna be great. We're gonna have a great time. We're gonna we. 
course, everybody come out, you know, and, and support all the bands. Go out there and check them out. And <clears throat> there's going to be a lot of groups out there. So we're excited about it. You know, we're excited about Fanfare, excited about, you know, that's the big the big event of the year. And uh, it's so we're excited. You know, we can't wait to see our peers and our, our friends and our friends from out of town, all our t influencer friends that we've, you know, come across, you know, you know, the, you know, my, my, when I first started with TikTok, you know, like Lily was a big supporter, you know, Chinguana was a big supporter, uh, you know, Aftermath, Lexi, you know, John Del Tejano, AJ, the Tejana, uh, Omar, it's like, well, a few others. And uh, so I'm very appreciative of them. At the time, nobody was really doing that. So, you know, people were looking at me like, what are you doing? What are you, what's that all about? I said, trust me, trust me. And now, you know, there's videos yeah. of doctors in it. And so it's pretty cool. And we appreciate that. That's awesome that they're doing what they're doing. And we need more of that. And, you know, they're continuing to, you know, get that across. Y'all are doing your part. They're doing their part. And, of course, you need the content. You don't, with any of this, without any of this stuff, you y'all can't play any videos or anything. So, yeah. Yeah. so you know, y'all keep grinding out there. So thank y'all so much for, for supporting us. And we can't wait to see y'all. You know, you can go to the website, net. call us, 210-818-1950, and you can call us, text us, WhatsApp us, email us, and uh, we'll try to get to your town this year. If we didn't get to see you, uh, hopefully we can get to get to you in 2023 or maybe 2024. There you go. There you go. And uh, so thank you so much for, like I said, for being there uh, for us, and uh, I enjoy doing your, your flyers and your videos <laughs> and everything. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for doing it for me. I appreciate that, man. You do great work. It's it's awesome. Nice. Um, just real quick, if anybody does uh, kind of clueless, I don't know who's all watching here, but in case you guys don't know what Fanfare is, Fanfare is one of the biggest nights for us in Tejano Music. You go out there during spring break. It'll start March 16th through the 19th. That's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Four-day event, Market Square, downtown San Antonio. Of course, they have a bunch of after parties. Uh, Thursday night, we'll be at the Internet Radio Gala, which is going to be the final one. Hopefully not. Hopefully, you know, we can get together and continue the tradition of that. Uh, but yeah. it's going to be March 16th at Mi Mercado Flea Market. Uh, I think from like 6 to 12 or something like that, I think it was. And then mm -hmm. there's going to be a bunch of after parties, you know, the clubs, the bars. Uh, I don't, we're going we're gonna to be at Jaime's Place. There's going to be awesome out there. I go home and go to sleep. Me like that. <laughs> like a good little boy. Yeah. <laughs> no big parties for you? No, no. I'm old, man. I don't go. I don't go. I'm about as I'm about as old as you are, and I still want to party. Well, I no, I I I go home. I go to sleep. <laughs> I drink at home. I don't really drink out a, a, a lot. To, to you know, I I don't drink out a lot. I, a little bit, not not very much. Just you know, I, I drink at home. That way, I can go pass out at home. There you go. There you go. <laughs> going out there and getting into trouble. Right, exactly. Yeah. There you we, go. Yeah, that, yeah, that's that's possible. So we just. We stay low key and go home and have a few and then go to sleep. That's it. Yeah. There you go. Well, that's awesome, man. Uh, thank you for being on the show. Sure. Thank you for having we, me. We appreciate you. Like I said, our show is being brought to you by Lila Lisa Promotions. She says hi to you. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, she's a big fan of yours. Thank and you. uh, also to our sponsors, like I said, Marisol Tequila, the new face of tequila. Make sure you guys pick up a bottle. They are based in San Antonio. Awesome. So you can always get you a couple bottles out there at your local liquor store if they do not have it. Tell them to go hit up marasultequila.com and uh, purchase some bottles. But uh, we'll see you out there in San Antonio. All right. Thank you so much for having us. We'll see you soon. God bless you. And uh, you. keep the hard way. There you go. Thank you so much. Everybody who's been watching us on Facebook, on all the pages, and, of course, on YouTube. It'll be available on Spotify in a little while. I put it up there. And you guys can repeat. Thank you so much for joining us here. And uh, we'll see you next time down uh, next week, actually. Uh, Miss Sarah Monique will be joining us. I know awesome. we're going to have Miss, Miss uh, Angel Jimenez, <coughs> upcoming artist as well. We're going to be having her. Eddie Ray Barrella is going to be joining us here next month. And I think we're booked up all the way to fanfare time. And then we're going to have a bunch of interviews out there, which are going to be spur the moment, impromptu interviews, and that we'll be bringing you guys. So uh, make sure you guys catch us out there in fanfare in San Antonio. Sonny, awesome. thank you, brother. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good night. You too. All right.